Okay. Good morning, everyone. I finally found out the name I wanted for my podcast. The name for my podcast on YouTube is going to be called I'm Not Giving You Unsolicited Advice. Has anyone ever told you that before? That you've been, that you're giving them unsolicited advice because it makes them uncomfortable to hear something that they may not believe? Or how about you're trying to tell someone something so that they don't look foolish and they shut you down immediately, almost belligerent, telling you that it's unsolicited advice, they don't want to receive it. But then later realize, or maybe they didn't realize later because you never got the chance to tell them, I was trying to tell you that myself, but you didn't want to hear it. I will tell you this, in my life, I've had plenty of opportunities to help people when they truly didn't know the way they looked or sounded and appreciated that I said something because the average person doesn't say anything. I started thinking about why that is. And I realized it's because of the foolishness that surrounds the unsolicited advice culture that exists nowadays. Everyone has trained themselves to not say anything, even when they feel like they could, because people have had the same experiences I have. People don't want help. They don't want help. They don't want to know. They want to do things wrong. I, I think it's absurd. But again, on the other hand, I have plenty of experiences where people have stopped, put their hand on my shoulder. Thank you for telling me that because I've been here all day and no one said anything. Have you ever had that happen? Yeah. No one said anything because they were afraid that you were going to take it as unsolicited advice. That's what it was. It, it wasn't even you. Everyone has been conditioned Oh, that's a good word. Everyone's been conditioned to be quiet. Even when someone really needs to hear something. Now, I'm not going to sit here and try to pretend like people who give unsolicited advice don't exist. Because they do. I'm not one of those people. If I'm telling you something, it's because I want you to look better. To be more aware of what you're doing. Or because I don't want you to look foolish. I've had so many instances of this. So unfortunately, if you go on Google, like go on Google right now. Go on Google and type in unsolicited advice. You'll see so many memes, so many forums, so many things that people have to say about it and why they hate it. Why they don't like it. Why they don't entertain it. While they're, why they'll ignore it. A lot of them will make you chuckle. Okay, now do this. Type in, I wasn't giving you unsolicited advice and see what comes up. Nothing. Nothing. Nothing comes up. Because no one's ever taken the chance to explore that. No one. I wasn't giving you unsolicited advice. You took it that way. And I have a couple of examples that I'm going to talk about here. So for starters, again, I've told you I've had instances where, you know, there was a stain on something and I was like, hey, flip it around or, you know, just random things because I, I help people. It's what I do. I'm never the kind of person that's going to tell you something that's going to make you look foolish. I'm not going to do that to you. That's not who I am. So if I'm telling you something, it's because you need to hear it. It's because you either need to hear it or here is the other example. I also realize that sometimes when I'm simply having a conversation that people turn that into unsolicited advice. And it's like, wait, 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 wait. 
This is a conversation. This is a two-way street. You talked about you. We're talking about me now. So how am I giving you unsolicited advice about my experience? So then now, so here, see, I'm glad I'm breaking this down. Now here's the factors. You have to break down if this person is even astute enough to recognize that you're not giving them unsolicited advice. They're just used to saying it. So you don't even recognize that that's not even what I'm doing. I'm trying to have a conversation with you. I had an experience like that earlier this year. I had never, I had never had that happen so directly to me before. You all know I'm a figure skater. We were talking about uh, camel spin. Like we were talking about a couple of things. Like I had on like a Smash Bros hoodie. And you know, we were talking about that. And the conversation turned sour so quickly. And when I think back to this conversation, I still laugh about it. Because I was like, no one's trying to tell you what to do. I'm telling you what works for me. And if she had let me finish the conversation, the last thing that I was going to say was going to be, what do you do? to improve your style of spin. That right there was proof that I wasn't giving you unsolicited advice. I was talking about my experience and then I was going to pass the ball back to you. Blew up on me. Kept repeating that she didn't want unsolicited advice. She said it like three or four times. And unfortunately, because I knew that that's not what I was trying to do, it didn't click. So I kept talking. I kept talking. And then I realized now that I'm away from that situation, I kept talking because I knew I wasn't giving you unsolicited advice. I was trying to have a conversation. But you didn't let it get that far. I'll never forget that. And I'm so glad that that happened to me because the, the amount of people who were around, who were watching and listening and truly thought that the issue was me was absurd. I'm like, no, that's not what happened here. It, it felt like I was being gaslit for trying to have a conversation. Hear me when I tell you I could go the rest of my life without ever speaking to any of those people in that group ever again. If it was that awful. So this is why I wanted to talk about this. this. This is the name of my podcast now. I'm not giving you unsolicited advice. I just came up with something this morning because I was thinking about it. I wrote it down here. So your, where is it? Giving unsolicited advice and I'm too proudful to I'm too prideful to listen to anyone are two very different things. <laughs> and I had to recognize so I was able to like look back on my life or other situations where this has happened and it's like, oh it wasn't that I was giving advice about something that wasn't my business or I wasn't even familiar with it's that I genuinely was trying to look out for you because I noticed that no one else had said anything to you you have all of your friends over here people that you profess to be your friends that I found out really quickly they're not you're just in the circle with them and they're letting you do all of these things that don't make you look good and they're laughing with you and someone who who changes changes the mold who someone who challenges the mold is like don't you think that looks and before they can even finish you're telling them they're giving you unsolicited advice and they're trying to help you
there's this false witness, this false guise, this false mask, this intense disguise of pridefulness that protects the barrier of the phrase, you're giving me unsolicited advice. That's bull. I think that phrase was started to make people feel better about themselves for not changing. I think that that's how unsolicited advice started. Look, let, let's be frank. I don't have to tell you nothing. You know what? As a matter of fact, I wish I hadn't said anything and let you sit there and look stupid. And that's what's happening nowadays. Instead of people looking out for each other, they're just not saying anything because they're used to being told, you're giving me unsolicited advice. Don't tell me what to do. I know what I'm doing. If I don't do it right too bad, I'll get it right the next time. Wouldn't you like someone to tell you if you could be better? I would. <laughs> Speaking of figure skating, let's go back to this. So when I first started skating, you know, I, obviously I had no idea what I was doing. I didn't have a coach right away. And I was just, you know, skating one day and she was there. And this particular day, I was trying to do my idea of what I thought a jump looked like. And I did, you know, it looked pretty cool. I thought it looked cool. Looking back, I just, it's funny because it just didn't look right at all. But um, when she said, she, gave, she told me a couple of things that I can do to make me better briefly and then offered her coaching services, which I'm so glad she did. Can you imagine if me not knowing what I'm doing, can you imagine me saying before she even got anything else out, before her saying, that she wanted to coach me before her thinking that I was talented. Can you imagine if before I let her get anything out that I said, I'm not taking unsolicited advice? Can you imagine if I had said that? Now see, from her perspective, she would have responded the way I have had to respond to people. I'm not giving you unsolicited advice. I'm trying to have a conversation with you about how you can be better, right? Imagine if I had foolishly said that to her and she decided to not offer her services at all because I spoke too soon. You wanna talk about that phrase, your mouth can block blessings? That would have been a perfect example of that. But because by habit, I am open to being told that I'm not doing something correctly so that I can do better. It was a no brainer for me. I love listening to things from a different perspective. Even if it's a personality thing that might be different I think everyone is very capable of hearing something from a different perspective. Whether or not you want to listen to this perspective is not the fault of that person. So I immediately thought of that going back to it. I was like, you know, imagine if I had said that initially. Because it's funny, I never really thought about how much I had heard that phrase, unsolicited advice. Not so much for me, but in passing. And now that I'm older and I'm knowing what it really means, I'm going back to all of these situations when the conversation even wasn't even about me or wasn't even directed at me. And I'm like, they weren't giving you unsolicited advice. They were looking out for you because everyone else was looking at you like you were crazy. So, what do you call it 
when someone genuinely wants to see you do better and look better. You call that unsolicited advice? Yes. Yes, I understand that it exists. I understand there are people who think they know a lot about things they don't know anything about. I, I'm, not, I'm not dismissing that. But what I'm saying is there's a culture that exists nowadays that prevents genuine people from showing up to those who need it. And then those people who need it have been so conditioned, like I said earlier, conditioned to not listening to anything they're told. That's a problem. Does anyone else not see that? That, that That's a major problem. Don't confuse someone trying to have a conversation with you with unsolicited advice. It's a two-way street. Can you imagine you leaving your zipper undone or somehow after using the bathroom, ladies, you tuck your dress into your underwear. Or if you're cooking and you don't recognize that the cap falls off of a spice that you're putting in and the top falls in. Or if you notice that someone's child is about to eat powdered detergent or that you're about to injure yourself. Or if someone has a better idea for a setup to make it look more appealing so that you can get more customers. Or that you could do something, improve your product to bring in more business. Or if you have something on your wall that's about to fall and you're the only one that sees it. Can you imagine any of those instances? Can you imagine someone telling you that's unsolicited advice. And you're like, wait, what? No, it's not. I'm trying to keep you from getting injured. I'm trying to keep trying to make things better for you. I'm trying to give you a different perspective. As a customer, you are seeking business, right? As a customer, this doesn't look appealing. Now, you don't got to listen. You don't got to listen to what I say. You don't even have to engage with that at all. Now, you can call it unsolicited advice. But if at a later time you were told the same exact thing, are you just going to keep saying that it's unsolicited advice and this works and I don't need to listen to anyone and I know I'm right and I don't need to change anything? Come on now. That sounds absurd, doesn't it? Let's be real. That sounds absurd. I personally, I, I love to share what I know. Because I can go back on my life. I can think of so many instances, unfortunately. So many instances where no one said anything. Or I wasn't doing things as good as I could have. Or when something that I did really didn't quite look as good as it could have. And no one said anything. And if I'm being honest... I was being laughed at. I, I, I would have loved for someone to give me. See, I don't call it unsolicited advice. Like, yeah, I, I wasn't seeking it. But in life, you were going to get advice whether you seek it or not. The question is determining if it really has any value. Can you imagine if someone had tried to come to me at that time when I wasn't doing something correctly and I said I'm not taking unsolicited advice. Because when I look back to that time and that period of my life, I would have loved for someone to stop and tell me this isn't correct. And I would have fixed it. Oh my goodness, thank you so much for, for telling me that. I got it on point now. I'm so grateful for you. Thank you so much. I'm aware that I don't know everything. 
I don't. I'm not going to try and sit here and pretend like everything I say must be listened to. That's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is if I'm genuinely looking out for you, you, you need to be able to recognize that that's what I'm doing and not that I'm just saying something because I could have just said nothing and let you go about your way, right? I could have said nothing to just let you go and look however you were going to look. I could have been quiet like everyone else. So as someone who looks back on life and has been in many situations where I would have loved someone to say something, I love speaking up and saying something because the amount of people I've had tell me thank you so much versus the very first instance of someone saying that I'm giving them unsolicited advice, it's worth it. I have hundreds of experiences and we're going to explore all of this in this podcast. Hundreds of experiences where, oh my goodness, I didn't realize that that's how that looked. Thank you. I didn't realize there was a stain on that. Thank you. I got it clean. It looks good now. You're right. I probably should have ironed it. I went ahead and ironed it. We won't have that problem anymore. So many instances. You know? And... This is something that's very wrong in culture. This don't give me unsolicited advice culture. I'm not saying that it doesn't exist. I'm not saying there isn't a place where someone telling you something doesn't really equate to you. I understand all of that. But what I am trying to shine a bright light on is the people who are giving you fruitful good, healing, supportive advice, you have to be able to recognize it. Quite frankly, some people will cheer as you fail. They'll laugh because they'll look like you don't know what you're doing and they'll say nothing. I've seen that. Imagine this. Imagine you're working on some kind of project. And I come in the room. Excuse me. And I notice, you know, I'm like, oh, that looks so wonderful. I love the way that looks. I'm not wasting my breath. If I'm telling you that something looks nice, I mean it. So if I take a moment to say, don't you think you should, and you cut me off, I've got this. I didn't ask you. Don't say anything. That's unsolicited advice. I'm going to very quickly, I'm not going to say anything else. I'm going to let you go about your way. You know what? I got stuff to do. I wish you the best for your project. Now, let's say you happen to cross paths with this person again. The first thing I'm going to ask you is because I don't internalize the stuff people do. The way you behave has nothing to do with me. Hey, how did that project turn out? Uh, and they tell you, uh, not so good. There's something. I didn't recognize that there was something on it that I should have fixed. And now I have to start over. Can you imagine being like, okay, I tried to tell you that. But you bit my head off. I didn't want you to waste your time. But you clearly believed that I was giving you unsolicited advice. What would you call that? There's this... There's this gap between the phrase unsolicited advice and the phrase genuine concern. And what bothers me is that genuine concern is often misconstrued as unsolicited advice. This needs to stop. 
the memes on Google. I know you've probably found a bunch of them now. All of those need to stop. As a matter of fact, pull those memes back up on Google. Imagine there's a further dialogue in all of those memes and all of those quotes that says, but I later found out that you were correct. Or, you know what? I wish I had listened to you. Or, you know what? You were looking out for me and I wasn't listening. Not everybody is out here just trying to to just fill your ears with their knowledge. I'm not that kind of person. If I'm telling you something, it's because I feel like it might help you. That's it. Your lack of humility has nothing to do with how you take the genuine concern I'm expressing verbally towards you. That's completely all you. I'll say that again. Your lack of humility or your fragile ego or your unchecked pride is considered a threat to my genuine concern to make you look and be a better person, that doesn't have anything to do with me. Unsolicited advice. This this is a great topic for my podcast. We're we're gonna that this is gonna be the first audio recording. We're going to explore this issue. This very real issue that's so wrong in today's world. Don't tell me what to do. I don't know. I don't need to know what you think. I'm not listening to your opinion. You're giving me unsolicited advice. When, if you aren't actively listening to what's being said, how can you tell the other person that that's what they're doing? Is is it, is it unsolicited advice to tell someone That something could look better? Or is that how you're taking it? As an athlete, as an active person, is is it wrong for me to tell you what might help you because of what helped me? Is it is it unsolicited advice for me to tell you what worked for me and to inquire about what worked for you? Sounds like a conversation to me. But then I have to recognize, too, that's something that's declining in the world. In today's society, even just general comprehension isn't what it used to be. So there are so many different avenues of this conversation that I'm realizing that need to be broken up. Because it might truly just be that the other person doesn't comprehend that you're just making a statement. Like, I'm not telling you what to do. This is what I do. We're not talking about you right now. So, yeah, we're, we're going to touch on this. this. This is going to be the topic. I have, unfortunately... A couple of other instances of this now looking back on my life, this conversation that happened earlier this year made me recognize that I've been in situations like this before, but was never told that exact thing. But then in that situation that someone recognized, you know what, you were looking out for me, thank you. Yes, I was. Because trust me, If I didn't want to look out for you, I just wouldn't say anything. Like everyone else does. 
So we, yeah, I, I want everyone, I want everyone in the world to hear this conversation. So uh, please like, subscribe, repost, send this to people. Ask them what they know about the phrase unsolicited advice. Listen to this conversation and then tell me that I'm not wrong. Tell me that I'm not wrong. How many times have you personally gotten ready to say something uplifting, encouraging, only to be met with, oh, I don't want to hear that. That's unsolicited advice. I urge you to really think about that. Think about the moments when you were just trying to help someone be better. And for some reason, it, it, it came out, it came out as your, it came out of your mouth at, at your expense. And you almost wish that you hadn't even said anything. Isn't that the worst feeling? If I knew you were going to turn the conversation like this, I never would have said anything to you at all. We're, we're going to explore this conversation. And I'm going to end today's podcast with saying, not everyone is giving you unsolicited advice. I'm not giving you unsolicited advice. I'm just trying to help you. <laughs>